Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to my tech channel. Can't speak today. Um, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be going through my 2023 reading stats with you guys. I have recorded. Hopefully, this is gonna work. Fingers crossed. Um, last time I tried to do this, it didn't. So we're gonna see how this happens and how this goes. But yeah, we're gonna go through my 2023 reading stats. We're gonna start off with Goodreads, and then we're gonna go into story graphs. So because they're slightly they. Some do more than the other, so we're going to go through them both. Um, but as on good research, you can see my own books. I read 86,161 pages. I um, read 225 books. Some of those are DNFs, by the way. But I count them because I have started reading them and read some of the pages. Does that count? Do you know what I mean? Everyone said their own, do you know what I mean? Um, my shortest book was... Uh, Birthday Kisses by 50 page, uh, which was 50 pages. My longest book is was It by Stephen King, 1,168 pages. I do think the pages count slightly different on story graphs, so I don't know which one you want to go by, but yeah, that's where we're at. Um, average book length in 2023 is 282. My most shelf book is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I'm not even do that number, you can see why. Um, the least shelved is The Secrets We Keep by Gigi Lin, which was 14 people also shelved. My average rating was about 3.6, which to be fair is pretty good. Like, I read some really good books this year, but then at the same time I also read some ones I didn't enjoy. Like, it was very one scale or the other, if that makes sense. Uh, highest rate on Goodreads was a call of Mr. Fury. Um... My first review was A Court of Thorns and Roses. Now I rate that four and a half stars. I will be rereading A Court of Thorns and Roses this month. But when I get to it. <laughs> when I get to it, I'll be there. Um, and yet, yeah, then this just goes through all the books. Um, which I'm sure you guys just, yep, that's all going. And my last review was Queen of Shadows. I know my last review is different on Storygraph, but yeah, I finished them both on the same day. So but yeah, Queen of Shadows, which was a five star rating. I was so glad to go out in the year on a five star. It made things so, so much more like prepared for this year, if that makes sense. I just made me want to read. Um, Storygraph, here we go. Um, my transition reading wrap up now this one obviously says i finished 214 books that is because like i said i did dnf books so it's how it is which is why the pages count is also 82,356 pages because of the ones i didn't read i didn't finish they didn't count so that's where we're at um anyway hours audiobook wise was 90.67 hours um, I love audiobooks, they help me out massively when it comes to reading, especially at the beginning of the year, which you'll probably see in a minute, and um, that tends to be the time I'd more leaned towards an audiobook, um, because i got so much going on, it's just easier to listen to them to try and just, like, get through books that I want to read, if that makes sense. Um, first book was A Court of Thorns and Roses, last book The Fae Princes, which is like I said, that one and Queen of Shadows, I finished them both at the same time, so that's why they're like they are. Um, Storygraph, the mood map of your reading. Um, lighter books push the line up, darker books push the line down. As you can see, I had a very light month in April, but then it was a very dark month in October. Whereas in dark books in October, which to be fair, yeah, I did. I did read some top books in October, so as you know. Um now the page books pages and minutes per month. Um as you can see, like I said, audio books for like at the beginning of the year, I very much do listen to them compared to the end of the year. Um and very the pay 
books read to up and down august was my no february was my highest month august was my second highest month um july was my lowest in books read which is depending on what was happening and um, pages is very up and down um so my lowest was obviously in july surprisingly considering february was my highest book month I didn't read as many pages. Um, my highest page I read, I believe, is September, which was 7,838 pages, which is interesting to see that, like, you would assume, like, the month that you read more books, you would read more pages. But then at the same time, it also depends on the size of the book, if it's short books, big books, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I did read, re- I did meet my reading goal, which was 200 books last year. My goal was 200. Um, I achieved my hours goal, I didn't achieve my peaches goal, which was 85,000, and so yeah, I was close though, I was close. Um, the genres I spent most time on, romance, yeah, kind of feel that one, 128 books, that I think also includes like dark romances and stuff like that, so yeah, I, can, I feel that one. Um, I'm surprised by the contemporary at 85, if I'm honest, I thought fantasy would have been second, um, Young adult, yeah, and thrillers. I'm surprised I would, yeah, I didn't think I read many thrillers. Clearly, I did. Clearly, I did. Um, longest book by Pages was it. Shortest book, Verticus, is short discussed. Again, like I said, whoa. Um, pages, it differs based on what you, what, when you go on. Um, with Storygraph, I try and look in the book and see what the pages and then match them up as best as I can. Um, average length of books you read, I read, was 394 pages, which is probably, yeah, about average for the sort of size books that I've read this last year. Um, and it took on around three days to finish each book, which, to be fair, is pretty good. And pretty good stats to read. Finish a book around three days. Um... Least time spent on a book was one day. That was on Rock Paper Killers. That was, I think I finished that one. I don't think I did have that one. I'm not sure. I can't honestly can't remember anything to have the book. That was what how the book was. It wasn't great. It wasn't great at all. Um, most time was 15 days that I spent on the Walls Pregnant Bride. That was an audiobook that I was reading for the author, and I just very much struggled with that one. I did I do believe I finished it. I don't think I did enough it but it was very much a struggle to get through that book. Um, Authors spent most time with in 2023, Sergio Mass, Tara Murphy, Rina Ken. Honestly, yeah, I, I expect that. I have read pre- I pre- read pretty much all the Sergio Mass last year, bar finishing, which I'm finishing currently at the moment, The Tandem Read, which is Empire of Storm and Tower of Dawn, and Kingdom of Ash. Otherwise, I read all of Sergio Mass's work last year. Tara Matthew, I did the Shatmi series last year, so that one I do expect. And Rena Ken, I started getting into her books and her universe. So that number, expect Rena Ken, guys, to be on my 2024 stats because I plan on finishing her entire backlog of books. And there's a lot of them. So be prepared for that number to go up and for her to get there at the end of the year. Uh, 2023 average rating through. 0.98 which again that's good that's a really good number like I said earlier um it was very hit and miss like I was over one scale of really really good books or on the other side scale which books were just not for me so to hit 3.98 as an average that's really really good um these are my five stars obviously I'm not going to go through them all individually but obviously you can already see I've got some Sergio Mass books on there Court of Wings and Ruins is my favourite one from Akata. Everyone loves Mist and Fury, but for me, Wings and Ruins is just that is the book for me. Um, obviously, John McCurdy's book, I love that one. You can see Lucy Score, Maris Pie, HD Carton, guys, is obviously in there as you can see. There's some other books further down, I believe. Obviously, Runex. Got some of her books in there. Hopefully, you're going to get some more this year. Uh, Ellie Marnie, obviously I've got my rereads of Harry Potter, as we all know, those are always five stars for me. I love my Harry Potter books, I love my Harry Potter. 
um I'm in Henry Happy Place that book destroyed me so Stephanie Garber loved that series I love her books of all her books um we've got a fury guys got a few fury by rena kent is it is a chef kiss book like it's so so good i highly recommend reading it do you pick up the other books first i recommend reading it in the order even though they're interconnected as standalones and you don't have to read them in order i would recommend doing it because it just builds up the tension for the other couples as it goes so i highly recommend doing that and obviously with karina shadows which we entered the year on this is my stats, and I had a 42 five stars apparently, which I didn't realize I rated that many five stars last year. That's a lot of five stars. I, yeah. And then we kind of have like 35, 33, 25. As much as it looks like I didn't rate very little, um, I did have a lot of an average rating of threes to fours because, like I said, the books that I enjoyed, but they just weren't it for me that makes sense um so here some months were better than others so may was my highest average rating of 4.34 so i loved may apparently why the books i read in may i loved them i can't even remember what books i read in may i can't even generally remember i think and I, we've had this discussion but I, more can correct me if i'm wrong but i believe may was the month that we read the dark first series i think i might be wrong We've had this discussion before and I said one month and she corrected me to the right month and I, I can't remember if it was May or if it was June. I believe it's May, it's the month we read it. So she can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, March was my least favourite month with books with an average of 3.53, which to be fair, still a bad. Not a bad. So don't expect me to remember what books I read in March. It's almost been a year. <laughs> um, most pages read was September, again, with 7,838 pages. So here's my stats compared to other Storygraph users. Most shelved is Harry Potter in the Order of Phoenix. I absolutely love that one. Least shelved was The Secrets We Keep by Gigi Lin. Um, highest rated was Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, which love them. Love them. Um, I explored 100 new authors last year, which to me, I absolutely love that. I love that I've managed to reach out, reach out and find some new authors for me to read and some new authors that i love i'm hoping we can do another 100 this year guys if not more new authors so if anybody have, has any new authors that they haven't seen me read do put them in the comments so i can check them out and check out their work so we can expand our library of authors so yeah do let me know if there's any 141 of the books that i read were part of a series last year was really the year for series this year probably will be the same i want to try and finish a lot of series um and kind of come to an end on them so i can say that i've done them i've got a few series that i've gone into this year it's still in the middle of so hopefully get those finished this year um i revisited a total of 16 books this year the harry potter series was one of them harry potter series and i reread the caravel series this year what else have i reread this year i've reread things we never got over um by Lucy School, I think we read those. That book. What else did I reread this year? Oh, I can't remember. I will probably end up rereading some books this year. Like I want to reread the Heartstopper book so I can like, read the fifth one. Although I know they're graphic novels and it's not much thing, but I just want to do it. The Percy Jackson series, so I can read Chalice of Gods just to remind myself a little bit. Um, so yeah, there will be some more rereads this year. Um, and I decided not to finish 11 books. There was 11 books that just were not for me. So yeah, that's it. Um, and here's a little glance, guys, at my 2023. I'm just going to scroll through them. If there's any books on here that you guys liked, let me know. And if you've read them. I'm just still going. Still going. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. There we go. That is my 2023 um, reading stats. That was my 2023. That was how my 2023 went, guys. It was... Um, do you know what? It wasn't a bad one. It was good. We had a good year last year for books and for reading. And yeah, hopefully this year is going to be the same. 
um it's, it's hope the mic has picked up me talking i'm not very loud today i'm not feeling too brilliant so feeling a bit rough my throat's feeling a little bit tingly um so yeah but i wanted to do this video for you guys i wanted to share with you guys my room stats so that we can talk about them in the, in the comments you guys can let me know what your room year was like and we can just yeah have a nice discussion about it yeah, it's no competition it's just nice to see what everybody else's year was like. I'm always intrigued to see what was the year they, month they read more of or least of and pages. So I'm, I just like to read about them and see and talk with people about it. So yeah, do let me know in the comments if what your stats were like um, and what they were. If you found you had a month that, like say if May was your was it may the highest reading month for me if that's the same for you guys let me know let me see if was it may was it the highest average month was may yeah our highest average rate in may for me march wasn't so let me know if that was the same for you guys um but yeah i am going to head off now i'm going to see you guys in the next video um let me know guys what videos you want to see this year what you want to see coming let me know um yeah i will see you guys very very soon don't forget to keep smiling be kind keep reading bye guys wake up today's gonna be a good day 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 wake up today's gonna be